Happy Monday, Team Carlsbad. I'm happy to report that we have no new COVID-19 cases that were reported to us last week. Overall, our active COVID cases in the city have slowly but surely been on a downward trend for the last five weeks. We're not to the point where we can let our guards down, so every action you take does make a difference. Mask up, keep your distance, stay home if you have any symptoms, and please get vaccinated. It all works together to protect each other. Now, we understand that there is a lot of different situations, so we developed a COVID-19 flowchart that outlines what to do in different scenarios. Did you get a notice that there was a COVID-19 case at your child's school? Or you had close contact with someone who tested positive outside of work? The flowchart is posted on the staff page, so please take a look at it in more detail in case you're ever in one of those situations. Now, for some city updates, last Tuesday, City Council directed staff to keep hosting virtual public meetings through October, prioritizing the health and safety of you and our community. We'll revisit and assess how the COVID situation is looking at the end of October. Our three libraries are the latest city facilities to get switched over to our new high-speed network. Now, staff at those locations have faster, more reliable, and secure internet connection to all city systems, and anyone at our libraries will see better speed connections too. Kudos to the IT department for their diligent work getting more and more of our facilities connected to this digital information network. No matter how fast, reliable, or secure a connection is though, cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, a great reminder of practical and important steps we can all take to be safe online. Unfortunately, a simple click on a malicious link could put the whole city in jeopardy. So here's some important tips. Make strong passwords that are a mixture of letters, numbers, and symbols. Beware of lookalike domain names and unfamiliar email senders or text messages. And please report all suspicious emails with the report fiche icon on your Outlook toolbar. Err on the side of over-reporting. And finally, always think before you click. And here's another kudos. The fire department recognized Jacqueline Wynn, senior applications analyst, for her extraordinary efforts with department innovation and services. Her expert use of technology and collaboration with her IT department has helped the fire department successfully implement new software and online tools. This has allowed the department to be more streamlined with some awesome new technologies and capabilities. Now that's some innovative collaborations. Great job. I wanna end by encouraging you all to take advantage of the new online training opportunities for the month of October. From personal to professional development topics, you can learn about improving your communication skills as a leader or preventing identity theft and scams. Thank you to HR for organizing these great workshops to help us in learning and growing. So that wraps up this week. Thank you for all that you do to continue to keep us as well as our community safe. You are the lifeblood for this organization, and I can't thank you enough for the job that you do day in, day out. Stay safe, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care, all.